poppin' YouTube world, your boy Justin here again as always, aka Adobe One Kenobi, featuring the new mic today. Hopefully it's not too distracting and it enhances the vocals for you. So today we're gonna be talking about a really quick and cool effect that you can use in music videos or edits in general, which is called the star or glow effect. There's a lot of filters out there that you can actually attach to your camera to achieve this effect, but I'm gonna show you how to do it for free in post-production. So let's get right into it. All right, so now that we have Adobe Premiere Pro open, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is add our selected clip to a sequence, and then we're going to duplicate that twice. So either copy and paste it up two layers, or you can alt drag and it will duplicate it that way. All right, so the first video clip is going to stay exactly the same. Do not worry about adding anything to that. What you're gonna wanna do is go up to your effects panel and drag directional blur onto the second and third of video clips. Now for the second one, you're going to change the blur direction to negative 45 and then the blur length to somewhere between 100 and 150, whatever looks best for you. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the third clip, except the directional blur is going to be 45 as opposed to negative 45. So you're kind of creating this X effect. Now, the only thing we have left to do is switch the blend mode to screen on the top two clips, which will reveal the original clip, but also you will have that star dreamy sort of look. So it looks really cool. Play around with these settings and find one that works best for you. I find that they work better on darker clips as the additional clips with the screen blending mode on it sometimes overexpose the clip. So it might not work the greatest with lighter clips, but play around and you can achieve a lot of cool effects with this. So there you have it folks, the star or glow effect, whatever you wanna call it. It looks really dope and it comes in handy when you want a cool, easy effect that's going to really stand out aesthetically throughout your edit. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, tuning in today, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this effect and wanna see more videos like that, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and finally, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, peace out.